Hello, in this video, I will show you how to check your diagnostic slash engine codes on a Mazda RX-7 FD model. Let's get started. First, open up the engine bay. Next, look for your diagnostic port, which is gonna be right here, and go ahead and open it up. And typically, it's gonna be right next to your battery. Underneath the cover, you're gonna see the diagram for the pins, and we're gonna be looking for 10 in ground. Now, utilizing either a paper clip or a wire, what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect 10 in ground. I'm gonna be using a wire for the video's purposes. And looks like 10 is right here. And then ground is gonna be, looks like the third pin from my right. We should be good. Now for my particular situation, I do have an engine code, which is good for making this video because you will actually see it blink. Now the engine code that I'm reading is 11, which is the air temperature sensor, but I will show you how to read the codes. Now let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and put the key in and the car is gonna go through its normal Christmas light check. Once the light's clear, you're gonna go ahead and see the engine light start blinking. Now, the engine light is broken up into two things, double digits and single digits. The double digits is gonna be a longer blink and the single digits is gonna be a shorter blink. Now, if you look here, I have a long blink, one, and then it has a short blink. So again, we have long blink, 1.2 seconds, and then a short blink, which is 0 0.4 seconds. So if we're reading this code correctly, we're gonna have a long blink with a short blink, which equals 11 as the engine code or diagnostic code. Now, luckily we have a great and comprehensive chart to look at for these diagnostic codes. But once you've established that, you could go ahead and follow through with your repair. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the diagnostic codes in the description, but we're also gonna provide a helpful link I found online where you could read the steps verbally and also see those diagnostic codes. Now, if you finished a repair and you wanna make sure it's good and that there's not a code that's popped up, the best thing to do is understand the code requirement for the particular fault or repair. Sometimes you need certain consecutive trips to clear it. Other times you could just release or disconnect the negative cable and then press on the brake for 20 seconds clear that memory, and then go for a drive and see if that code reappears. Well, I hope this information was helpful. Please hit the like button or subscribe button if you want to. We appreciate you watching. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.